Nothing's gonna knock me down. Woo! <laughs> Double table. Double the clock. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, man. Now then, guys, how you doing? Back on the road again. So, I'm back here in the UK. All right, and I thought, right, where are we are going to go today? We've had a look. Hartley Powell. Let's get up north. Let's go a little bit further. Because there's a place called the Open Jar that apparently you guys are saying are knocking out some amazing food. So, I'm back in van. Me and cameraman. We're back on road again. Let's get to Open Jar and see if I can close it up and fill my belly. Come on. Why don't you open up that big jar filled my belly Cause I'm on my way, on my way I'm gonna eat all your food I'm an anthropologist Yes, I say I'm up north And I'm gonna eat it all So what are we gonna get from here? What am I expecting to get? Do the do a palm oil Because where we're going It's sort of in the middle of Middlesbrough and Newcastle and you know there's a debate in these the palmo is it from middlesbrough is it from newcastle uh, is it from sunderland or is the best one in hartley pole i don't know uh, but we're gonna go find out so come on guys hit the road jack i hope we've got two dumbbells coming we're gonna have to oh no they're telling us to curb here cameraman let's get through here get out of the road look push come on that's it let the old ambulance through we'll get over here that's it, there we go. Right, yeah, so we're off to the open jar. Here we come. The fat man is on his way. So, now, on told map, it's looking like it. We might be at Seaside here, you know, cameraman. Is it a sea, is it, is it Seaside Village? Uh, we're, on, we're on coastline here. Told Harley Pull. I'm hungry today, and I want, you know, I, I've been away, been on told American tour. Trying all this American food. That is it. Now I'm back. Best of British. What's this place? Seaton Carrow. Is it Carrow? Carrow? Seaton Carrow. <laughs> so I'm just waiting. I can see. I can see blue on map on sat nav. I can see a bit at sea. I can see the sea. Do that with kids all the time when we're off to the coast. It's like that. First one to see, sea wins. I think everybody plays those silly games, don't they? I, I know when I was a kid, my dad used to say, now then, go out that window, don't you? And if you see a pink elephant, you get a quid. Never saw a pink elephant, never. Never got that quid. Yeah. See it now, though, on a Friday night. <laughs> the kebabs. Anyway, cameraman, we're close, to, we're close to, in fact, it looks like we're in sea. Bit of blue, it's saying there's a bit of blue here, a bit, bit of water. We've got to go down down cliff. Is that cliff? Is that, is that cliff or is it just CLF? It is. Look. Oh, it's a big boat. Look at the size of that big tanker out here. That's it. We're on. Oh, I'm happy now. Look, we're not doing it seaside. Yes. Come on. Come on, big lad. Eh? What have we got here? A full of windmills. Look. Telling us that uh, have, you, have you noticed that as well, guys? There's all this going on with, with cost of energy and that. I've never seen so many windmills in my life, of course. And we're struggling for electric. Where's all this going? Eh? Who's taking all this? I want to know. Stick one of them in my garden. There's loads of boats out there. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, I'm buzzing now. Ah, I'm at, oh, look at this here. I didn't know all this was here. It's old Hartley Pole. What a lovely place. Come down hill, palm trees! <laughs> Couple of palm trees, what's all that about? Eh, don't see palm trees in the UK, only plastic ones. <laughs> right, well, this looks nice, this nice view out there, it's a bit choppy in sea. Oof, eh, I'm glad I didn't pack, pack my trunks today, cameraman, it's a, bit, it's a bit cold out there. Oh, I'm absolutely loving it, might be a bit chilly out here today though. Glad I've got my uh, tracky bottoms on. Told cameraman he's coming short, so he still thinks we're in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said to him, it might rain today. He's like, nah, be alright. We're here. Open jar, look. Open, oh, get in. Right on the sea. I hope it's open. Right on the sea front. Oh, sorry, love. Don't know who that is. But we'll get rid of that. Right open. Oh, look at that. Yes. Looks like you're. Uh, Someone that you see in one of these uh, holiday centres. What's that there? Welcome to Haunts' Bar and Grill. Oh, we might do a couple here, cameraman. 
Right, well, do you know what? We're going to park up over here and then we can we can see what's happening. Shall I get, shall I get the person in here? Uh, I hope, oh no, look at that. There's a, I'm going to park here because I can see a beer arch. <laughs> I'm getting giddy. I'm getting giddy, getting giddy. Right, so parking. Customers must obtain a parking permit by using the touch screen inside the open jar. Right, well, we'll use a touch screen inside the open jar. Right, guys, so we're here. We don't see front here. All right, told Hartley Paul, we're at the open jar. Food and drink. Apparently, it's absolutely knockout food. So let's go see what's happening. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, here we are. Oh, back out, look. Back into jumping and joggers. We're here in Hartley Pool. And I'll be totally honest with you, right? I didn't know that this was like a little seaside little village. And I'm absolutely buzzing because it's not that far from me. I only half drive. I can fetch kids down if it's half decent. Eh? Come on, right. Here we go. Look at this now. I've missed Van. All right, I had to walk around America. I'm absolutely shattered. Jumps in the streets of New York carrying this about. But now we're back to it, Van. Tall table and chair. Come on, my trusty steed. I was a bit worried that I was going to lose my chair, but it's still here. It's still here. Right, come on. Cameraman. Find my keys. Lock the van up. Let's go find some food and see what's going on here. Come on, open jar. Right, guys. Let's have it. Eh, oh. I don't know if I like being back in cold, cameraman. Eh, it was hot over there, wasn't it? Eh, but I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back seat, kids. Let me tell you. Right, so it's open. 12 till late. Don't know what time late is. 8 pm. <laughs> is that late? Right, come on, let's go in and see what's happening. Oh, 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 cameraman, here we go. Look at this. I love you, right? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, good. So, I've been uh, recommended to come down and try out some of your amazing food, apparently. Right. Yeah. So, what do you recommend? What's up menu? Uh, we've got the pusher burgers that yep. I think you really like, and we've got an uh, XL Parmo from the Mother oh, Clucker. The Mother what? The Mother Clucker. The Mother Clucker. Uh, so, what's on the burger? What's that? The burger, you've got uh, two beef patties and you've got salt and pepper goujons and cheese. Ooh. And it comes with skin on fries as well. I'll have one of them then, please. Yeah. And I'm going to have to try this big parmo. Yeah. yeah is, it, is it a big one? Yeah. Right. Very big. The mother clucker. Very big. Yeah, big tray. All right, let's have it. So I'll have that and yeah. I'll have a drink of water as well, please. The water, yeah. Is that everything? That's it. Thank you, love. Mm -hmm. so, so what's with, uh, with monkeys and that? What's all this about? It's a heart pool thing. All right. Monkey is it? hangers, we get called, yeah. You get called what? Monkey hangers. Is that what you get called? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Is that? And, and that's what... I didn't know that, you know. Eh? My God, be kind. Right. How much is that, love? It is £42, please. Thank, Thank you yeah. very much. So I'm just going to take a seat outside, if that's all right. Yeah, right to, to bring it out for us, yeah? Yeah, we'll bring it all out when it's ready for you. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Right, guys, come on, let's go. Let's go let's sit out here. Come on. Whoa. Right, guys. Oh, I'll tell you something. There's, there's another place here as well. Another. This is, so it's like a pub. There's fish and chips. It's all going on. I'll just put my table against this table. <laughs> right, cameraman. Here we go. I wonder what that's about then. I'm a bit shocked with that because there's artwork on the wall with all these like gorillas and monkeys. And I've got pictures at home. I, I love that kind of thing. It's just something about, this is what people call a monkey hangers in Hartlepool, what's all that about? Can't call people that, that's not nice. Don't call people names. They say sticks and stones will break your bones. Names will never hurt you, but they do guys, so be kind to people. Oh look, I'm going to have to, oh, let me just move out of the way while this young lady comes in. Are you coming down? Are you going that way love? Alright then, no worries. No worries. So, table's up. Don't knock a crackers away. Whoosh. Chair test guys, here we go. I hope it doesn't go the first one back from, from, from Big USA. Oh. <laughs> a bit of a sitting back then, yeah. Yeah, so it shocked me did that. 
I don't like it when people do that, give, give people names and complexes. We, we've got to be kind to each other, especially in this day and age, what's going on. Support your, support your fellow neighbour and your neighbour will support you, that's what I say. Talk to people. Anyway, this place, right, it's known for its burgers, parmos. It's like street, street food vibe going on. Apparently it's quite busy. All right, if I'm honest with you, I'm a bit taken back at this little complex. I'm taken aback at Hartlepool be, being on with little beach there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Now, 40 quid. Woo, the mother clucker. We've got big burger and then we've got the big, big mother clucker, which is a chicken, chicken parmo, supposed to be a big one. So I can't wait, let's see, because I've had a Parmo before, and like I say, what I want to know is, is it going to be better here, slap bang in the middle, all right, of the two places where they say it was, were born. Let's see. Uh, there's a lot of pigeons now, on roof behind us, can't, well, they're not pigeons, little birds, actually. I don't know what they are, little sparrows, something like that, but they're, they're now gathering on the table. It looks like some out of another film. If you just turn around, caravan, you'll see them all <laughs> gathering, ready to uh, take charge at me, having food. When we got here, there were none. They're on the table, they're on the roof. They're getting closer. They're probably looking at me, thinking... Yeah, that fat bloke. He's juicy. We could eat him. Eh, I bet there's that many of them, they could probably carry me away over at sea. Imagine me dangling over the ocean. Woo! Loads of birds on me. <laughs> right, so it's busy. I think it's the uh, fish and chip place on end that looks a bit busy. I'll have to check it out. I can smell it. And it says uh, Whitby Seafood. I'm not even in Whitby. How'd you get that? <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! Just noticed though, cameraman, there's a dinted table here. It's gone a bit skew with, look at this. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Look at that there. Eh? One of the airlines have must have got it a right bash. Oh. Eh? Still going. Eh? Still going strong. <laughs> Nothing's gonna knock me down. Woo! <laughs> Down table. But yeah, no, we had a bit of great time. So I've some good content there for you. You can see what's hey up, oh, what we got. Oh hey up, oh, look at this, we've got a bit of bit of cutlery here. What's that for? He don't get a drink. Well we have to be nice. So be kind to people. He can be nice, but he doesn't have one, but it is it, alright. <laughs> so be kind to people. <laughs> there you are, look at that cameraman. Whoa. Bit of ice lemon water. Eh? Ooh. Now I'll tell you something. So we, we, when we were in the States, guys, we get to Toad Hotel, New York. I were, I were parched. Oh, I tell you, I, I were ready for a drink. Late at night, and, and there were a little shop inside the hotel. Goes in, there's all Fanta and Coke and all that kind of stuff. Grabs a bottle of water, goes up, pays for it. Six dollars. Is that much? Six dollars. Coke? Cans of coke, they're only like three three dollar fifty, four dollar. How do you work it out? They make this stuff with water, don't they? Absolutely crazy. But it just blew my mind. Water over in the States is becoming new gold, I think. So that's it. Start filling bottles up, saving them in the shed. <laughs> you never know. Right, I'm gonna wet the whistle. Oh, it's very lemony. Lemon water. <laughs> that's nice. Oh, yeah, hey, cameraman, I'm, I'm sort of laid back at the minute. I'm comfortable. I've got nice woolly. I say woolly, but it's fleecy, fleecy hoodie on. Chilling out with this little bit of a breeze. See, yeah, it's making me. <laughs> making me tired? Oh, you're yawning now, guys. 
Yeah, that's what happens, isn't it? Have you ever noticed if you, if you see somebody on you, you're on yourself. It's nuts, isn't it? It's crazy. So seagulls are coming now. I've just seen a few seagulls. Birds are all, like birds of prey, they're all over the place here. They're watching for me, scrapping food. They're like, right, yeah, chubby lads on it. Let's, let's get his scrap here. I bet you know, on a red hot day, I bet you it's nice here. Bars open, grill. Get yourself a nice, nice pint and chill out, put your feet up. You're not stool here. Oof. It's, it's a nice little, it's a clean little area as well. Oh, boy. here we go. Oh, it's wet toe whistle. Let's get ready. Do you know what? I've started doing this at home with, with water. That slice of lemon, a couple of slices of lemon. It does, it just gives it that little bit of a zing, a little bit of an edge. Up there, up, we're here. Wow. Extra large mother crooker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking to me then. <laughs> okay. We're not calling each other names, are we? Look at the but, size of that. But you push a burger for you. So the burger's in, so that, what is that? So that, is that the chicken under there? Yeah, it's your chicken, bechamel sauce and cheese on top. Right. Bit, oh, big chunky chips. It's looking good, this, isn't it? Have you ever eaten one of these? I have not the, the full ones. lot. No, no. No. Half of a half. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll have, we'll have to give it a go then. Thank you very much. No, nope, that'll be great, that ladies. Thank you. Wow. Look at this, guys. So it's, I think we're like about 20, 25, 26 quid, something like that for this. It looks like you've got two big, massive chicken bits there. The chips look amazing. I've got to say, look at these chips here. <laughs> hey. Look like the chips my grandma used to make. Oh, homemade cooked chips. We've got some homemade slaw. We've got a nice little salad there that does look quite appetising. Couple of dips and then it's just massive chicken parmo. So let's, do you know what? Before I crack it, I'm going to open that box up. I want to see what's inside that. See if that is going to wow me as much as this. Because you know what burgers are like when they're stuck inside boxes. Whoa, it's piping hot. Oh my God. Look at that. Big burger and chips. Do you know what? I'm going to pop it here for you. Right. We're going to crack on with this. Knife and fork out here. Yeah, like I'm at a restaurant here. Right. I don't need knife and fork for these bad boys, do I? I've had my eye on this one. This little sweaty crispy one here. Let's go for it. Oh my God. Right. Couple of dips. Look at this. <laughs> so this. Oh. Wow, wow, it's good. Wow, it's like a very, very mayo, that. It's a bit of mayo, is it? Oh. Everything all right for you there? Absolutely gorgeous, thank you. What, what size is that? Like a piri piri? Yes. Yeah, well, it blew my head off that. <laughs> thank you very much, love, thank you. Look at this. I love homemade slaw. Look at that. That looks amazing. Let's get some of this in, in toe belly. <laughs> Come on, bad boy. Oh, that is nice. Crunchy, fresh. Try a bit of salad. <laughs> you know what? It does look quite nice. This salad actually got a bit of a a mustard seed dressing on it. Oh, oh, that's quite refreshing. That you know. Right, this is what I've come to try. The palmo, and what a palmo it is. Just wet toe whistle. So my daughter, Summer, she's a big cheese lover. She would absolutely love this, just for the fact of the amount of cheese. And we'll get rid of greenage. We don't want that on cheesy parm, or really, do we? Right, let's go for it. Look at this. Oh, my God. So this is what the parm is about. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, yeah. so we've got the, the white cheesy sauce there. We've got the fried chicken fillet. And there's just loads and loads of cheese. Right, let's have a taste. Wow. Oh my God. That, guys. Now, obviously being from Leeds, living in Leeds, I've had some of these Parmos, and I think it's all about that cheesy, creamy white sauce. And we just don't seem to be able to get it right, but, but this is bang on, let me show you. So you've got the white sauce. Here, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Adding flavour to that beautiful fried chicken fillet. And then 
covered in cheese up top. Like I say, eh? So some of love you'll be watching this. But what dad's having? <laughs> that is a cheesy flavour heaven. Wow. Oh my god. I just want to keep eating it guys to be honest. I'm going to a piece caramel and then we'll move on to the burger. <laughs> that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. And there's definitely enough here for you, big lad, don't worry. <laughs> here we go. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to take my table out with it. See if we can see. Right, so we've got... So here, we serve with big homemade chunky chips. <laughs> Alright, but on this we have got some skin on fries. Now let me tell you, both are seasoned well. Full of salt, full of seasoning. These, oh, I love skin on fries. I think it just adds a bit of extra flavour, a bit of texture. Oh, they've got a crunch to them, seasoned well. That's what I'm talking about. The burger. Oh, 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 oh look at that. So you've got some chicken on there, cheese. You've got two patties. Is that salt and pepper? Oh, it is. It's like a salt and pepper chicken goes on. Patties, lettuce. Oh, this might, uh, do you know what? This is one of those, again, where just the smell of it, it's making my mouth water before I've even tried it. We've got a beautiful, and I must, do you know what I'm saying? A beautiful brioche bun, toasty well, but it feels good, feels quality. It's not breaking up. So let's have a go at this. Oh. Oh my God, that is a bit of me. Oh wow, that is absolutely amazing. Let me show you this. So these salt and pepper goujons, they've got like the Chinese five spice running through it, tingling at the back of my throat. <laughs> You've then got the spring onion. So it's basically like a Chinese flavored burger. It tastes amazing. The patties in there are absolutely bang on but these flavors combine it's nice on its own but when you bang it with beef it's like a a love match made in heaven <laughs> camera man so i know the bill i thought two quid you might think woof but look at this 20 20 26 27 quid definitely serve two people without a shadow of a doubt this burger the flavour combination there is probably the best I've had in a burger for a long time. It just infuses together and it just gives it a little bit of an edge. Like I say, it's like having a, a Chinese burger with that, with that salt and pepper. The difference in the chips, beautiful home cooked chips, and then you've got skin on chips here. Difference between them both. One's taking you back to, to your childhood. One's up and current, but they both taste brilliant in their own right. This Parmo, all right, served with these sides. This is the winner for me. I wanted to come down and try it because I've had one from Middlesbrough. And it was nice, it was great. But so far, this one's tipping bill for me. It's so full of flavour. That white cheesy sauce on top is gorgeous. But it's just huggings of cheese. That is what you want. You want it dripping, full of cheese. You want it to be like this. It's gone nice and hard on top because I'm sat outside. But you want it like that. With all made slow and the salad, absolutely bang on. So guys, I am so happy that you recommended this to me. If you've been down here to Open Jar, let me know what you'll think. If you've not been, come down, try it out. But for me, it's definitely an easy, solid 10 because it's just absolutely beautiful food. I'll see you next time. I'm cracking on with this Parmo. So far, Harley Paul, you're winning for me. Let's have a go with this. Oh, yes. Oh, big chunky chips, chicken parmo, oh my god. <laughs>